Welcome. Today we'll be making herb rub standing rib roasts and oven roasted mushroom far risotto. I'm Chef Joe, and you're watching Public Savings Cooking School online. Here we have a standing rib roast. We've had one of our meat cutters here at Publix take the bones off and tie them back on. That's important because it's gonna make it easier to slice later while also keeping moisture and flavor into that roast throughout the cook time. To season it, we're gonna to mix together some salt, pepper, thyme, and rosemary. We're gonna give it a nice coating of olive oil, which of course is gonna add some flavor, but also promote browning through our cooking and get it nice and caramelized. Rub that all in there, all around. Now we'll take our spice mix. On the top, on all sides. All right. I'm gonna wash my hands and place this in the oven at 425 degrees for 20 minutes. While our roast is in the oven, we're gonna get started on our mushroom farro risotto. We'll start by cleaning our portobellos. We're gonna pop the stems off, and using a spoon, we'll pull these gills out of the inside. Now while these gills are edible, they tend to break down during the cooking process and turn everything kind of gray, and I wouldn't consider them to be the most delicious thing on a mushroom. Now we're gonna dice up our mushrooms so they're ready to go into the oven for roasting. Not looking for anything that's the prettiest slice in the world here. We're just trying to get them all to be about the same size so that they'll cook at about the same speed in the oven. For our white button mushrooms and our creminis, we'll go with the bigger ones, we're gonna sort of cut into a quarter like this. Some of the smaller ones, we'll just cut in half. Now we're gonna season our mushrooms. Start with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. This is again gonna help them get some color and obviously add some flavor. And now we have an umami mushroom seasoning. If you can't find this, you can use any dried mushroom. You just run it through a coffee or spice grinder. Give that a nice tossing to coat it up. Now all these will go onto a foil lined sheet pan in a nice even layer and into the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. It's been 12 minutes. We're gonna take a look at our mushrooms. Looking perfectly roasted. We're also going to lower the temperature on our roast to 350 degrees. Now we're gonna get started with our mushroom farro risotto. To begin, we'll start warming some stock. It's important that your unsalted chicken stock be nice and hot when you're making risotto. It's gonna help you get it cooked quicker. It's gonna help that risotto get tender faster. Next, we're gonna melt some butter. To that, we'll add some onions and garlic. We're gonna give these about two to three minutes until all of our vegetables are nice and tender. Now, risotto is most commonly made with arborio rice, but risotto really is the method, not the grain. Today, we're making our risotto with farro, which is an ancient Italian whole grain, and you can make risotto with just about any grain or seed. Now we're going to deglaze with some white wine. 
and we're going to reduce au sec, which is just a fancy French term for cooking it until all the liquid's just about gone. Now that our wine is pretty much cooked out, we're gonna add our farro. Now, from this point, you pretty much cannot stop stirring the pot through the entire cooking process. This is a very good time to get a helper in the kitchen. We're gonna add our first half a cup of chicken stock. As our stock starts to reduce and cook out, we will add another half a cup. Our risotto has been cooking for about 25 minutes. Starting to look like it's really close. The easiest way to tell if your risotto is tender enough is just grab a few grains. Give it a little taste. This is al dente, which is just the way I like it. So I'm gonna remove it from the heat and I'll season our risotto with Parmesan cheese. Some butter. Salt and pepper. We're gonna stir all of that in. Let that cheese and butter melt into our risotto. Thicken things up, make it nice and creamy. And lastly, we will fold in our roasted mushrooms. Now that our risotto is finished, I'll just go grab our roast that's been resting and is ready for carving. Look at that beautiful roast. We'll use our carving knife just to cut these three strings that are holding it onto the bone. See how it looks. A perfect medium rare. Now put down some of our farro risotto. Beautiful standing rib roast. Just clean up, we'll be right back to see how it tastes. Wow, this looks great. Let's give it a taste. Mm. The roast is great. Wonderfully seasoned, you can taste all the herbs, beautifully cooked, perfect medium rare. Let's try this mushroom farro risotto. Perfect texture on the farro, great umami flavors of the mushrooms. You can taste all the aromatics with the butter and the cheese. This dish is a feast you don't want to miss out on. Click the link below for the full recipe and exact measurements. Subscribe for more Publix Aprons Cooking School online videos and other content from Publix. Thank you for watching.